Eja ka joko, abalati a fè loba yi, o ni abalati Edmond yo bilo yo wa shakba terure. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome my friend and brother and colleague in the industry, Edmond Obilo. Thank you. Thank you. It is a great day. And I'm happy to meet Chief Adelabu. It's a pleasure to meet you at last. Shaima Kinde has become a veteran. He has been contesting since 2007. So Adelabu looks like the innocent one among them. Adelabu, are you innocent? Your mic, your microphone. Very innocent, you can see now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes I wonder why you celebrate the name Pekele Yes. Sir. Why? What is a good name? It's a legacy. That's your grandfather's name. Yes, yes. Can you remember that in 1955, your grandfather was indicted for corruption? No. No way. He was, he was acquitted and discharged. The question is this. He likes celebrating the name Pekele Messi. Yes. But in 1955, his grandfather was indicted. What do you have to say for corruption? As the pioneer chairman of Ibadan Native Authority, which happens to be the 11 local government in Ibadan today, he was the first occupant of Mako O, the first chairman of Ibadan Native Authority. While in that administration, just like it's normal for any administrator, he was accused of corruption and they went to court. I can tell you confidently, the history books are there. He was discharged and acquitted, which is what led to the song Adelabu Maakowo Wano Maakowo Wano Igunu Loni Tapa Tapa Loni Igunu Maakowo Wano. Yes, yes, it was so it, it, it was not a peculiar mess. Chief Lane, he was tired of peculiar messes. Chief Lane. Can you imagine Shei saying that this contest is between APC and PDP? Is that a disrespect to your party? Hello. Is your mic not working, sir? Yeah. Every man is entitled to his opinion, rightly or wrongly. I can assure you that ADC represents the new dawn, a new vision. Shei Makinde, why did you say that ADC and the other parties are not in this race? Well, uh, on Saturday, you're going to have uh, to vote for two major parties, really. Either you vote for APC or you vote for PDP. Because those are the presidential candidates that are running under a platform that within the entire country, they have structure everywhere. Polale Sarumi, can you take that? You are not in this contest, he says. Pardon? He says you are not in this contest. Engineer Sheyima Kinde, Kakwele Dumari Urami Wani. Eh, Bati Jelo, Amomo Bolalia Shabim Bembe. Moti Fogo Boy 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 Pata Tewalori stage. When it comes to presidential candidates, actually, my party has a presidential candidate. However, she started late in the game. I am in this race all the way to the end because that is what God sent me to serve my people of Oyo State. Respect the party. NIP, Nigeria for all of us. You see, sometimes when you go to town, what do you hear? Shei Makinde is such a rich man. And I hear it too that Adelabu is such a rich man. 
Mr. Kwenkele Mercy, how much are you worth? I'm a successful retiree from the corporate private sector and the public sector. How much? In are 20 you worth? years, I've been occupying very high executive positions, and I'm a good fund manager. I'm a comfortable man. <laughs> hey, hey, you have some billionaires on this stage. There are some billionaires on this stage. That is the truth. I heard that Adelabu is worth about 20 billion. So 20 billion naira. Is that what you are worth? So big it if I'm worth 20 billion. I declared my asset before I joined CBI. You can check the code of color bureau. The information is there. A -A Let me tell you, yes, sir. Governance goes beyond having money. You must have an internet that can allow you to transform the state. You must have the creativity. You must have the passion. And you must have the antecedents for good governance. It's not just money. You know, I'm telling you. You know, sometimes when you make this statement, yes. it reminds me of the song that Shea Makide sings: that you are a puppet, that you have been controlled already. Oh, as a deputy governor of CBN, was I controlled there? As an ED of First Bank, was I controlled? As a GM of Standard Channel, was I controlled? No way. No way. Let me tell you. Edu do roll for Agada Wash Beg Edu. Let me tell you, people only talk. What is the antecedent? How do you consider the credibility of a future promise if you don't have reality of antecedent? Go and check my background. All right. I'm a successful businessman. My businesses are all here in your state. I employ over 600 people. I pay their salary. I create empowerment. I create employment. Thank you. I give fish and I teach people how to fish. All right. Ah. Thank you. Thank you. You say this governorship candidate is energetic. Thank you. NRP. I have been listening to you. I don't really know what is your economic agenda, what is your sense of development, what is your concept of governance. Thank you very much, sir. First, before I get into that, I'd like to, to respond to a couple of things that have been said on this podium. I will get to that. No, you Number have to one. hit the nail on the head. Excuse what me? is your concept of governance? My concept of governance, like I said earlier when I came out, is to attack the poverty that is ravaging our society. A lot of these people on the podium, they talk about their antecedents, they talk about a lot of things they have done. But tell you what, even a Father Christmas before- What is your concept of governance? My, no, 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 that's what I'm telling no, you. What is your concept? What is your feeling? Are you going to be private? Are you looking at a private sector driven economy? Where do you stand? No, I am a public private sector economy because you know what they go hand in hand let me tell you right now the, in an economy right there's two in a functioning society inflation at two to three percent is good but right now in our state we have over 14 percent of inflation let are me, you are, are you looking at bringing in private consultants are you looking at ppp where do you stand no see right now the situation is so dire that you cannot bring in any foreign investment there's no electricity there's no ways to improve our economy than to invest in the local populace so what i will do thank you sir what i will do is ensure that there is a package a stimulus economic stimulus package where will what? you get the money from so the money oh we'll take let, let me tell you something we're in debt right but at the end of the day we can still take loan to alleviate the suffering of our people you want to a take of, more loans yes you know why a lot of people are afraid to say that because they think i am not all a, right you have made your point he wants to go for more loans that or your state will get more money from either the world bank no. or any organization no you see there are a lot of grants there are a lot of grants to be taken advantage of that is what you don't understand yes in the point in the point in the, like there are a lot of foundations out there that are willing if they have a credible candidate if they have a credible leader that can ensure All that right. this mo this monies are spent 
justly. Okay? So let me tell you. Okay, you have made your point, sir. I want to speak to Senator Lan Lane. You know, sometimes when I look at you, I have sympathy for you. You know one thing about Lan Lane? Do you know one thing about him? He has moved from one party to the other. From AD to PDP. From PDP to ACN. From ACN to Accord. From Accord to PDP. From PDP to ADC. So Lale knows how to move. Now, is that an advantage for you? <laughs> Thank you very much, Edmund. You've asked a very good question, and I thank you for it. Hitherto, we were asked whether we agree or whether I agree with the concept of Godfatherism. And I said, no. I move from one party to the other, or I move from a ruling party to the opposition. I've never moved from the opposition to the ruling party. I'm a man of principle. When I left AD, when I left AD, I was in government. And I left AD. When I left PDP, PDP was in power, and I left PDP. When I left ACN, ACN was in power. When I don't agree with what is being done, I leave. I am not a politician of bread and butter. I'm a very simple person. I want to deliver service. You know, you always say, I've listened to you about four or five times. You always make use of the word, mommy is interested. Public. You always use the word, mommy is interested. Can you remember? Mommy is interested, right? Yes. I stand by my words. You stand by your words. Yes. Who is mommy? <laughs> there are so many mommies in our state. But if you want to know, you if you want mommy? to know, Edmund, there are many mommies in our state. But I say first mommy. There's a first mommy. Yes. I only know of wife of the governor, wife of the president. I don't know about mommy or first mommy. Are you going to be the first mommy? <laughs> For the people of your state, I'll be their mother, yes. And for the, for the ones older than me, I'll be their daughter. I'll be their first daughter, first mother. You are a feminist, right? Pardon? You are a feminist. Not at all. You're not a feminist. Not at all. You believe in a woman, being a woman in the African sense of the word. Of course. In that case, the power of a woman is not in the other room. Uh-huh. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Let me answer you. Let me answer you. Let me answer you. The person, the person that said that the power of the woman is in the other room, when it was campaign time, this same person carried his wife and put her in front to go and campaign for him. So I think he regretted it. He so God has given us so much power inside us. If we can lead in churches, then we can govern the state. Thank she, you. She, what do you think about the other room? <laughs> Are we meant to be in the other room or in the forefront? The, the or you other, want all the women to be in the other room? Oh, no, the the other room exists, you know, but uh, <laughs> what you do in the other room, you don't really, you know, say uh, out publicly. <laughs> but I can tell you that uh, my wife, she's an engineer and she also studied business. So I believe she will do well for your state with her pet project. She will play the role of a mother to uh, the uh, needy children, and she also played the role of an helper to the widows in how, your how, state. How much are you worth? How much are you worth, Shei Makinde? <laughs> well, I'm not uh, boastful. I believe whatever God has given to you, it's for humanity because we came with nothing to this world oh, and we will go with nothing. <laughs> Hello. You see, as you clap for Shei, be careful. <laughs> See, he has been spending his money since 2007. I don't know if you are thinking like me. He has been spending millions. 
And you think if he becomes governor, he will not recoup? Will you recoup? Well, let me also say this, uh, uh, Hedmond. And you can check it out. Over the past eight years, I've been paying taxes, taxes close to 1.5 billion naira every year to the government of Nigeria. So that's 1.5 billion. So how much do you make in a year? Well, your guess may be you know, as mine, but I can give you those tax returns. <laughs> We need to know how much she is worth. Okay, and I'm you see, I'm declaring this publicly because I am not a guest of EFCC. Okay, okay. Because we have to be circumspect. Okay, you want to respond? Talking about talking about money, I'm the poorest, poorest governorship candidate. You know why? I'm doing it on purpose. So that if somebody like me should win, it means anyone with good credibility in this room can serve and become a leader. ZLP. <laughs> ZLP and Ladoja. Before I come to ZLP, did Ladoja disappoint you, Senator Lane? I take everything in my strides. Can you win without Ladoja? Oh, you can bet it. Come. Chief Ladoja is my brother, is my girl, is your Siolubadon. I respect him. We have a beautiful relationship. But I tell you, we have a fantastic party, ADC. Uh, we are going to win. Come March 29, 2019. This is the governor of your state. That is the governor of your state, he says. Adelabu, is he the governor? <laughs> is he gonna be the governor? Who is the governor? Lanley, he said he's the governor. Come rain or shine. <laughs> Let's wait till after election. Let us wait till after election. Why did you laugh that way? Let us wait till after election, please. After election? Yes. You are sure you are going to win? It's APC all the way. <laughs> APC. We cannot afford... Not to be in the mainstream governors. APC has been here for about seven years. APC as president, APC as state governor. ZLP, what are you selling? I'm selling integrity, experience, and uh, antecedents. Experience. As a former SSG, yes. your people remained poor. No. As a former chief of staff, your people are still poor. They are not. As a former local we government able to, chairman, we are able to pay salaries. Welfare of workers was paramount. That was Ladoja, not you. That was, bro, bro, you are saying that uh, people remain poor. That was when PDP, I was not ZLP. It doesn't matter. That was Shei's party. party. That is not about party, it's about the individual. That is Shei's party, not your it party. It is about the individual. It's about the person who occupies the office. As chairman of our investment, that was APC. That was ACN. Yes. Chairman Oldwa Invest. Have you looked at Dubai? Yeah. Look at Dubai. Dubai is a business corridor. Yes. You look at that skyscraper there, Coco House. Yes. The first skyscraper in Africa. When you see that corridor, Chief Adela, how do you feel? Have you thought of what you would do with the business, the Dubai business corridor? It is painful to me. And that's one of the reasons why I'm in this game. We have to transform the central is it a game districts. do you know politics is a game yeah all right just know your onions we are going to transform the central business district of this state i have done it before in my private capacity check out my businesses in ibadan here it's not for my selfish purpose but for the employment and empowerment of our people if i have the majority of government i'm going to do it a thousand fold come back in four years I'll tell and you what the cause will look this. like. Okay. Let me say this. About the central business districts. You can see what we have done beside the heritage and cocoa mall. That we are able to do in the two and a half years. And you know what we have been able to attract to that place. Heritage and cocoa mall is old war. Heritage now. and cocoa mall. It's old war. It's yes, old war. That was when I yes, was chairman. That was when I was five chairman. State, five states of the southwest. That is a fact. Why are you claiming it? Why won't I? Because I was chairman, I was instrumental to it. Well done. Well done. Senator Lanley. 
Tell me that you will probe Ajimobi. I beg your pardon? Tell me that you will probe Ajimobi. No, I won't. Why? I won't have time for that. Why won't you probe I'm going, I'm going to land on the ground running. But I tell you what I'll do. The contracts that are awarded will be reviewed. Is that not a probe? No, it's not a probe. So if you, if you reviewed the contract and you discover anomalies, what would you do? We will bring the contracts back and have them reviewed in the interest of our states. Should I go to town and tell people that if you discover corruption, you will just close your eyes? Yeah, you can do whatever you want to do is your option. ANRP. Yes, sir. Tell me what you want to tell me. You've been itching to talk. No. No, because it seems like, you know, you're directing all your questions to these major parties. Let me tell you something. All I've been hearing on this stage, hello, all I've been hearing on this stage is like uh, uh, Mr. Sheima Kinde talking about how much money he has uh, put into the society. Are you a philanthropist or a politician? Are you trying to get people, are you trying to to, to uh, bait people into believing that you're, you know, you're a, poly, I mean, you're a philanthropist. There's an end result. You, you started, you and some of these people that you're accusing today, started this politics of craziness in our state, in our country. Okay? All right. So for you to stand here and say that, oh, I did this, I did that. What are you, Alan Sean Feinstein? You only need, or to, you, you only need to say what your, you've done. No. Whatever it is that you've done, please tell the no, people. No, please, let me tell you something. Okay, you want to know what I've done? What have you done? Thank you very tell much. Tell us what you have done. You know, you want to know what I've done? Yes. I'm the only candidate on this podium that is standing on merit. That's the only reason why I am. No, listen. merit is no action. What have you done? I'll get there. Just listen. No, no time. What have you done? Okay, you know what I've done? I have left my family and my job to come and free our people from the insanity that these people are creating. Thank you. Let Thank me tell you. you. You have made your point. My, you have made your point. Let me. You, no, 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 no. I, 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 let me give me some time to explain myself. No, we don't please. have much time. You, you have come to sanitize. I'm the only one that is not from any Mama Sokbe and Baba Sokbe party. I'm not here on gender, equa gender balance equation. I'm here because people deem me fit to be here on merit, sir. Polanle Sarumi, will you probe Ajimobi? If I find that there's any corruption, I will ensure the right authorities probe his excellency you will invite the efcc if it is true that there's a refinery in lebanon that refinery will be brought back here for my people Chief Adelabu, if it is true Chief Adelabu, i know you will not probe ajimobi will you probe him to achieve what please in the race you don't look back you face the front i believe in incremental development i will not probe have you seen a son probing a father? Have you seen a son probing, probing a, father? a father? Yes. I will not a probe Ajimobi. Engineer Shei Makinde, will you probe Ajimobi? Well, I'll be too busy creating wealth for the people of your state, for the downtrodden people of your state. To get myself involved in uh, Will you probe Ajimobi? I should be busy. I should be busy doing what your state people have uh, elected me for. And have you looked at the records? If you don't look at the books, how do you say somebody is corrupt? You check the records. If you have the look at the books and you find out it's corrupt, then you know what to do. Pass it to the appropriate agency. Okay, before I go, there's this disability bill. And it has been signed into law. The disability bill. Or the disability act now. Are you going to implement? Fully, fully. By God's grace. Are you going to implement fully? Yes, sir. Have you but, even seen the act? No, I haven't. So why do you but want to implement listen. what you have not okay. seen? All right, let me you want to know what I want to implement. Just have you seen the act, Bolanes Arumi? Have you seen the act? 
Okay, you okay. Really, is it I've because your own the microphone you. doesn't give you the let let can you can I answer your question? You have the floor, but you want to put us in a box. And I, I, I understand that, okay? Because I'm a professional at this job too. Okay. I'm a trained mass communication graduate, okay? So let me tell you something. I'm a, I'm a leader, okay? The act, whatever you're talking about, is not, a, you know, it's for me and my commissioners to talk about. I will assign people that will take care of people with disabilities, that will ensure that their rights are protected, that will ensure that they have the same rights as a, as a normal you. human being. Thank you. Senator Lale, will you implement the act? I was in the Senate when the act was introduced. And I'm familiar to some extent with the provisions. I'm a very big fan of Stevens Hawkins, the physicist. And I'll do anything to make sure that the disabled are helped along. Some of them have brains and they should be helped to reach their fullest potentials. I will implement the act. It will be domesticated in our state. ZLP, what will you do about the act? I'll first of all domesticate it. Make it a law in our state and now implement it fully. Wow. Okay. The conversation continues. Thank you. <laughs>